Hi everyone, it's Adam here again. By the way, I have switched my voice to the outdated David version. It will work better when importing my voice into the video. Anyway today we are looking at hydraulic and traction elevators. First to start this video, elevators have drive systems to make them move up and down. We'll start off by talking about hydraulic elevators. Hydraulic elevators normally serve two floors to about six floors, sometimes up to ten. This is a picture of a hydraulic ram. It is also referred to as a piston. But what happens is there is a machine room that has oil in a huge container that gets pumped into the ram making it go up. The oil is then drained back into the container when the car goes down. The ram is connected to the bottom of the elevator car. When riding this type of elevator, you can identify if it is hydraulic by listening for a whirring sound going up and a draining sound going down. Here is an example of a TIS and over elevator going up. Listen for the motor. Here is an example of a hydraulic elevator draining oil by going down. Again it is a TIS and over. That was an example of a hydraulic elevator going down. Anyway I have one more example of a hydraulic elevator going up and down. This time it is an Otis Series 1. Now here's the elevator going down. That concludes hydraulic elevators. Remember, a hydraulic elevator has a motor going up and a draining sound when it goes down. Now we will talk about traction elevators. A traction elevator has ropes and pulleys and a counterweight for balance. A counterweight goes up to make the car go down, and down to make it go up. Here is a picture of a counterweight. I'll put an arrow on the screen so you can see where it is. When riding a traction elevator, it can be identified by hearing the same sound going up and down. If an elevator serves more than 10 floors, it's definitely a traction. The reason is a hydraulic ram can't go too far in the ground, otherwise that could be a problem. Next I will tell you about bottom drive traction elevators. If it whirs like a traction going up and the motor is louder at the bottom, it makes it a bottom drive traction. Listen here for a sample. Notice how quieter it gets. The machine is located on the bottom floor since it's called a bottom drive elevator. Lastly I will tell you about the MRL traction. MRL means machine room less. And it is located at the top of the shaft and is not in a room above the elevator shaft. Here's a tip on identifying MRL tractions. If you can see up the shaft, then look for if the ropes go into the ceiling. If they do, it is not an MRL traction. If it is MRL traction. The motor will be at the top of the shaft. Also MRL did not exist before the year 2000. If the elevator was installed before then, it is definitely not MRL. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Take the quiz. The link to it is in the description. To pass the quiz, you must get a 7 out of 10 or higher. Good luck.